Our bikes are here. That hair looks fucking weird. That looks weird side by Oh yeah, I now have a goatee. Weather pretty shitty. Chance of rain 90% for the foreseeable eight days. So yeah, we're about to go do the high van pass. But uh, yeah, let's give it a go. See you in a bit. from the guest house this morning. We've got some uh, eggs and bread. There's loads of goats here to chill with. One of my favorite lunches I've had for a, for a while. Is she red? Get like a sick like road shot. Stand up there, mate. Huh? Stand up there. One thing that's really disappointing when you come to Southeast Asian countries, and maybe Asia in general, I can't say about that, is just the fucking people littering everywhere. Every time I hit pause, it hits play immediately again. So yeah, it's raining time. Hey, yeah, no, I... So we're just kind of going to try and make a run for it, see how far we can get before uh, we have to stop again and seek shelter. Yep. Their tree is better than our tree. Why do we yep. pick that tree? It's a terrible tree. We are now in Hoi An, which is very well known for um, uh, tailoring and you can essentially get anything anything that you want here uh, material wise uh, fabric wise made to measure um, good prices we arrived tonight we drove through the monsoon pretty fun so let's see how it goes so we saw no month for a rain no rain for a month and then we saw a month's worth of rain in one day. Things have never been better. No, I'm lying. It's terrible. I have no dry things. Yep, yeah, got rid of the goatee, can hack it. About to set off driving in the rain again. Cannot wait. Well, is it? There's that one bit of blue sky above us, and then yeah. 360 degrees retarded. Well prepared for the rain. We've got 500 kilometers to do. Try and do it in the next two days. 
Edinburgh. Me and Nathan said we're just going to go for it, see how much we can get done today. And um, yeah, things have never been wetter. It's about that time that we did an oil change. Things have never been oilier. Things have never been sweater. Right, we got these things, dynamite shoes. We stopped off for a brief momento. Having some nuts. Do the old Wayne taste test to see uh, what kind of meat this is. <laughs> Brilliant chocolate amount. Ah, it's, like, it's actually chewing gum. <laughs> Look at the packet. Chocolate? No bueno. Right, Nave, try this. It's <laughs> <laughs> just mint, isn't it? <laughs> Why? <laughs> fucking chewing gum covered in chocolate. Why? Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you fucked up again, Wayne. Well, I didn't fuck up. They lied to me. Yep. Nathan knows the rules. Poncho time. He's having a fag. I'm going to quickly go for a little explore down here. You going to come down and have a little explore? As if my poncho fell off. Huh? No. You haven't got a poncho? Oh, fuck. Right, well, next garage we just have to stop, eh? Yeah, get cheapy. Just get a 10,000 E. Uh, in the meantime, you coming down to explore this little bit? Righty ho, then. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this bit because of the flip flops. <laughs> it's mainly the flip flops that I blame. Yes, mate. That's where I want to be in my life. <laughs> There's a lot of balls. Is there? Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Buying a new poncho. We can stay here for 10 minutes and then we'll be alright. <laughs> Got a ride in flippies. I hate sandy feet. <laughs> another night, another guest house. Welcome to my house for the evening. Well, I... Fridge is stopped. Fridge is stopped? Holy shit. I feel like we're not allowed to drink that. Yeah, but how are they gonna know? Well, they know what they've got in it. Uh... <laughs> We've decided that we deserve these beers. Ah, I thought the balcony was a lot bigger, to be honest, but uh, we just got to hope that that volcano doesn't erupt <laughs> and uh, that we could get some food. Dinner with some of these people. Mate, this actually looks sick. Yeah. Oh, win! Win! Go, go, go! We're all friends. <laughs> We're just... Nathan is well on his way to get himself some cigarette legs. I seem to have acquired these uh, <laughs> <laughs> flip-flop things. That's a Peruvian flag. <laughs> so we asked for the menu and uh, we all sat here waiting patiently and they didn't bring us a menu but they just brought us two really hot bowls of meat dishes. And uh, yeah. They look expensive. They do. We've been going pretty strong for a while now, but um, I noticed that Nate's bike was really smoky, and uh, yeah, this has happened. So um, he's gone over to the shop to see if they've uh, there's a mechanic get some smokes. But uh, yeah, not looking too good. And we're gonna we're meant to sell these bikes tomorrow. They're basically telling Nathan that, um, yeah, it can't be fixed. So I think what we're going to do is just drive him until it actually stops and then drive it off a cliff. 
so we've stopped at the next garage and um, yeah, see how this one goes. I'm so excited for this guy drilling out a snapped bolt. Those are all lizards on the wall. If there's lots of lizards, you know that there's no spiders or uh, oh, they, they normally are still mozzies. Ho Chi Minh a couple of hours ago, Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. Shit, let's get out of the road, let's get out of the road, I hate this road. <laughs> oh, crikey! It's carnage out there! Right, so we're in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. We're going to stand in the rain, do we? Oh, sorry, no, I don't. Used to take solace. <laughs> we just sold our motorbikes, so we're now actually backpackers on foot. A month today we flew out to Bangkok, Thailand, and now we're going to go find a bar. Sub love! We are here at the War Remnants Museum in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, the past week we have spent riding pretty constantly on the bikes around uh, 1,500 kilometers in the space of five days. It's been a lot of fun, but now we're at the finish line, the last place we're going to be in Vietnam. We've sold our bikes, uh, pretty sad times, but it's been beautiful. The drive, especially High Van Pass and many other mountain roads, You'll see those. They were amazing and can't recommend it enough. But now I'm in front of an M41 tank and we're gonna go learn something about the Vietnam-America War. 